Um, hi, everyone. I'm Sunny Lee, the CEO at Stravision, and I'm very glad to um, be here today for the group discussion and uh, to present our technology and product. So um, let me start with our company introduction video first. What's the most realistic way to bring ADOS to the market? Camera and AI-based embedded perception is the answer. SVNet is a tiny yet powerful automotive vision software that can be customized to the target market. With almost 9 million vehicles in production around the world, Stradvision is paving a path toward an autonomous future. To make this a reality, first, our Perception AI SVNet External provides camera perception to recognize objects outside of the vehicle. The deep learning-based software is Automotive Spice CL2 and GB certified for our ADOS production projects in Germany and China. Also, Stratvision's SVNet tools reduce AI data management manpower by 97% via automation, with speeds up to eight times faster. Stratvision has a global presence in the US, Germany, China, Japan, Korea, and India. We can execute mass production and R&D projects locally, efficiently, and swiftly. With extensive experience executing cutting-edge R&D projects with global OEMs and Tier 1s, such as front camera perception, surround view perception, self-learning, behavior prediction, pose estimation, and much more, Stradvision can push the boundaries of camera-based vision technology to give you an edge. SVNet is one of the few deep learning-based software that can simultaneously tackle both the mass market and luxury market, while providing automakers with complete autonomy over data and hardware. Just pick the market, hardware, and the car model, and our software can help guide you to success. Stradvision, perceiving the road ahead. Uh, okay, let me go over the company introduction, and then I will explain you more about the technology that Stravision is developing using multi-channel cameras on one single automotive-grade chipset. So uh, Stratvision is a software company that enables cameras in vehicles to detect and recognize objects. Uh, we were founded in 2014, and in 60 years, we are already at the mass production stage. Um, our growth driver is our software SVNet, and it is a deep learning based perception technology for advanced driver assistance systems or, you know, ADAS. Um, Stratvision has more than 170 patents. Uh, on the core aspects of deep learning, perception, deep learning perception and embedded technology. So the first vehicle uh, deploying our SVNet software came to the market last year in 2019 in China. Uh, for example, Chang'an Motors CS75 Plus vehicle is equipped with um, SVNet for its parking assistance features. And by 2027, we are expecting almost 9 million vehicles to be deployed on the road with our software license. And um, we aim to be the first deep learning based software provide, uh, provide a fully compatible with automotive safety integrity level B, so-called ACLB uh, for functional safety. Uh, on top of automotive spice capability level two that we got in 2019. I believe it's gonna be a, a very concrete but meaningful milestone for the whole team. Since the company's uh, foundation in 2014, we have partnered with leading global automakers in Germany, China, Japan, US, and Korea. Accordingly, Stratvision has offices in those countries for more closer um, supports and um, collaborations with our automotive OEMs or tier ones. This is a overall overview of the company. And then now let me introduce you about SVNet and our multi-channel technology. Stravision's core assets are three pillars. One is deep learning based parameter perception. So we have very, very good bleeding edge deep learning AI um, as a, our core technology. 
with 170 patents in the US only. And on top of that, we have hardware optimizing modular software, which enables SVNet, our deep neural network perception software, to run on any kind of automotive grade uh, chipsets. So we, we partner with multiple um, companies for that. And uh, because we have um, very concrete vision algorithm using camera sensors to process it to detect any obstacles or objects. Uh, those kind of technology can be used for augmented reality um, HUD, head of display, ADOS, uh, Thomas driving or driver monitoring system or even the traffic monitoring system. So our product portfolio combines three different parts. One is um, from level one to level two, our standard ADAS product. So we use uh, different cameras inside of a vehicle to detect obstacles, lanes, traffic signs, traffic lights, or, or whatever that you want, and then provide those perception results to, to, uh, um, to the system uh, for lane keeping assistance or um, emergency braking uh, systems. And on top of that, we can work with also level four at autonomous driving shuttles uh, using up to 10 cameras. Because our network is very lean and compact, we can uh, process multiple cameras uh, simultaneously on one single chip. And also for commercial vehicles, we have a blind spot detection or mirror replacement solutions, uh, which, which is very useful to support the drivers, and passengers, or pedestrians' safety. And then let me go deeper about our technology around using um, uh, surround view monitoring using multiple uh, channels. So surround view monitoring system generally have four different cameras, uh, front, rear, and on both sides uh, to process, right? So SVNet using surround view monitoring provides more various environmental information, including objects or distance uh, information of that object, um, or we can even detect parking space or free space to provide you more accurate information for parking assistance uh, features. And how we can do it, uh, uh, basically, if you can see the on, on top parts, on the right-hand side, uh, you see images from four different channels from four different cameras. So front, rear, left, and right. And then we generate top view images based on that, basically stitch four different images and then smooth the, uh, the uh, four corners. And uh, based on these two different, uh, I would say five different images, we detect uh, vehicles, pedestrians, or we can detect lanes, or even from the top view, we can detect these violet sections, which is the parking spaces. So that's it. And then let me uh, basically show you another video of the surround view monitoring system. So you see that on the left hand side, the raw data from uh, the image, raw image from four different channels. And then on the right hand side, uh, that's the generated image from top view. And you can see that um, each image detect uh, the red boxes in 3D boxes, also we can detect lanes, or on the right-hand side, the green um, is of the free space that we detected. And you can see the violet lines, which is the parking uh, space, so you basically can recognize whether you can park, you have some space to park or not. And this is the very key information that you can use uh, to activate uh, or to manipulate the parking assistance systems.
Yep, this is very exciting uh, because a lot of uh, individual drivers now realize that uh, parking assistance, um, for example, automatic parking assistance or uh, automated ballot parking, those features are very beneficial or convenient for your driving experiences. Uh, a lot of German, uh, Japanese, or even Korean you know, OEMs are looking for a solution um, to provide those features on their newest models and then Strat Visions as we need is perfect perception solution for them to use to to uh, provide those features. Great. Um, let me stop here and then uh, let's just start. Um, let me invite my colleagues. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. So I have uh, here three very important people from Stravision. Um, Andreas uh, is our general manager at the, uh, our Stravision Europe office. And Olden uh, is the product, uh, I'm sorry, project manager or product manager, I would say, uh, for this SVM, uh, SVNet, SVM product. And Olden um, is an important engineer to provide some answers to your questions around um, those technical questions. Okay. So, um, can you maybe can you introduce yourself a little bit? Okay, I start. So, my name is Andreas van Felde. Hello, everybody. Thanks for listening. I'm in charge of marketing and sales in Europe. And um, I'm also taking the role of general manager in Europe since we have uh, an office to support production programs in mainly in Germany. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, um, I'm Alden, um, project manager as is an introduced and responsible for mo mainly about the, the European projects. And nice to meet you. Thank you. Um, hello everyone, I'm Joseph and I'm an algorithm engineer and I'm staying in Poang. Now I'm joining you from um, Germany. Nice to meet you. Great. So uh, let's start. So Andreas, uh, why are customers so much excited about parking assistant features? Yes, so I think um, parking assistance would be uh, the best selling system if it had been feasible to develop a sufficiently performing system in the past. So think of parking, it's one of the basic maneuvers you have to do, but it's much more demanding than others like lane change or turning. And uh, this is reflected uh, by the high rate of cars being damaged when you're trying to park. So there are several changes, uh, challenges to overcome. So the parking space is, is not in the front, it's to the side or in the back. And uh, usually it's in areas of limited visibility from the position of the driver's seat. So using mirrors, uh, there it's hard to estimate distances and uh, maneuvering space left. So ultrasonic alarms that are around that have um, helped us bring down the number of those damage events but ultrasonic only provides for very rudimentary other system. Now with cameras and image processing becoming affordable, uh, I think that's a game changer. The ability to render bird view pitched image uh, combined with all the versatile figure, uh, features you have is um, object detection on a camera image, uh, like driver to space, two scale visible distances and uh, more. Uh, that only makes for full-fledged other systems. I think that's the excitement in the market now. Great, thank you. So, Olden, um, can you explain more about Strat Vision's reference and capability around the DL parking assistance? Yep. Um, for SVM, we already have uh, the production experience with the the China OEM, um, which were which was uh, already launched in last year successfully, and this is um, this was the integration to the level two it is a level two system mm -hmm. at, in the passenger vehicles, and yeah, this this shows the our capability of the production projects in an SVM as well as the front-facing camera. Mm. 
Great, great. Thank you. It's, it's a great achievement. Uh, Andres, so could you tell me about the market trends uh, related to the parking assistance as well as the surround view monitoring uh, solutions? Yes, I'm happy to do that. I think we have a slide or a diagram uh, to share. Can we uh, mm -hmm. kick this in? Yeah. It shows the ADA systems, various ADA systems, uh, how the projected market growth will be. Well, basically, what, what you see here is um, there's growth in most segments. Um, um, so that's that's good news for a company like Straight Vision. But particularly interesting is if you look at the ultrasonic and the, the parking that is um, camera-based assisted. Um, um, so what you can see here, it's definitely a growth because um, um, the pa assisted parking, I think, will become a standard feature soon and the autonomous valid, uh, autonomous valid parking will be introduced at high end. Um, but there's basically um, no growth in ultrasonic because there will be either a shift or at least an addition of um, camera-based um, parking system systems. And what is even more exciting, um, the, the, the market for um, front-facing camera is very much taken by mobile eye taking a big market share, but mobile eye is not so dominant in surround view monitoring based uh, applications like parking assist and therefore it's it's a, a big market for for companies like vision and and others great great um odin so um can you explain more about svnet our our product uh for surround view monitoring system what are the unique features of svnet um the proper to software of strategy for parking assistance yeah, um, as you explained in the presentation, um, in the parking assistance, there are made ma major two major features. Um, first one is the APA. That's the this stands for the automatic parking assist, uh, which can help you to park the vehicle in the parking lot uh, with or without the driver's intervention based on the our perception, the detection that you show the parking spot was detected and the free space detected. And this is the base, basic function uh, basic function that we're trying to achieve. And then the second one, which is advanced, is um, AVP stands for the Autonomous Parking. That that literally provides you the, the valid parking service by the, the autonomous driving system and the low speed and the parking space. So we can call this is the the um, the introduction to the, the full autonomous full uh, self-driving stage and this will come back to um this also the after the parking this the vehicle and you can also summon the vehicle once, once you're trying to um to get a ride again so mm -hmm. this is the the other best feature we're trying to achieve in the future mm -hmm. so i mean the market is moving from parking assistance to the valid parking um what kind of mm -hmm. r and efforts or store vision is um or start being consulted right now mm -hmm. yeah um in your video um video clips there are several incremental the features like object detection and free space and the parking space um, detection the surround view monitoring um we'll also developing new technologies and with advanced features in um each of them and they're most um, mostly uh, focused on the recognized surrounding surrounding environments, more specifically, mm -hmm. and so that we can successfully enable the, the autonomous driving within the parking area as as the as a starting step. And there are several um, key technologies we're trying to apply to um, enable that feature. First one is detecting the various uh, static objects, which can uh, which can uh, possibly exist in the in the parking space like pole and ground lock or stoppers in the parking space and also we're trying to detect the roll signs and in, uh, in the parking space the, in the roll surface to uh, plan the path in the parking space and the, which is the, the most advanced technology uh, the VSLAM we're trying to apply that the visual simultaneous localization and mapping uh, technology mm -hmm. to generate the map of the parking area entirely so that we can uh, plan more precise and accurate um, path planning and the localization and, and so on. So this mm -hmm. is one of the key technologies that we can move on to the ABP from the APA to the advanced mm -hmm. level. 
and, mm. and, uh, and as a last, uh, we can also apply the depth estimation and, uh, which, and the pseudo lighter, which can generate from the mono camera. This is one of our key technology and mm -hmm. to um, recognize the road profile and the height based classification. The height based classification can be also used um, to determine the, some objects on in front that we can overdrive or not. So, mm. so those are the key technologies we're trying to um, implement and apply to uh, move on to the ABP from APA. Mm, interesting. So, Yusuf, um, what are the technical challenges in achieving more robust and stable SVM solution? Um, one of the challenges would be the online calibration on multiple camera mm. inputs. And mm. because a parking lot's environment is so different from that of an open road, the SVM solution mm. must be robust in detecting objects that are quite up close to the camera lens. Mm. And typically, that number will be something like 50 centimeters or less. Oh. Yeah, and another challenge is reliably detecting objects on all sides up to 10 meters in order to be a robust and stable solution. Mm, interesting. So uh, what are the plans uh, by Stravision to overcome these kind of challenges? Well, in order to develop online calibration on multiple camera inputs, um, Stratvision has been using optical flow, which can find feature mm -hmm. points from input images and track the features between frames. And eventually, mm -hmm. a pitch angle of the camera will be measured by analyzing movements of the feature points from the optical flow. Mm -hmm. And as for the challenge of detecting objects up close, Stratvision has been using top view or bird's eye view image mm -hmm. along with to not only detect the objects, but also measure the distance to the object. Oh. But it still remains difficult identifying the exact type of the object. Mm -hmm. And coming to the last challenge, um, the distance limitation is mainly caused by a distorted image. Um, it's currently yeah. The image is currently undistorted using our software, but the output is um, not the best quality for detecting um, longer distances. Mm. But the, this, the detection quality could improve if a camera sensor can directly provide us with an undistorted image. Mm. That's an interesting approach. Yes. So, Andres, what would you anticipate as the future demands for parking assistance by day-to-day -day driver customers that Stratvision is most interested? So, I, I basically see um, uh, two two developments. So, since the um, um, development of all needed technology blocks is is quite advanced, I think autonomously parking cars will becoming a common feature, at least in high-priced automobiles. Uh, well within the near future, but if you look at the high volume market, then the expectation is that component price will come down so that uh, four camera based um, surround your systems uh, becomes an affordable accessory uh, in the near term and maybe a standard equipment in, in the midterm. Um, so I think the development is very similar uh, to the one we have seen with uh, backup cameras uh, that is nowadays uh, a standard feature, let's say, in, in Japanese cars. Um, mm. The cost demand that must not be overlooked for uh, achieving design wins is for a superior HMI. Um, that's, I think, an expectation by drivers, uh, despite all the technologies that um, the the HMI as uh, eases really really your your, your life in, uh, on the street when parking. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, so, user, would you recommend any sensors or uh, semiconductors? Um, which one would be the best choice for the uh, parking assistance solution? Okay. Um, so we have tested a lot of SOCs from different companies. Mm. Through multiple projects we've had both internally and externally. Mm -hmm. also, there's NVIDIA, Texas Instruments, Renaissance, and others. Uh, we know we not only have great partnerships with these SOC providers, but um, with our experience working with the SOCs, we found that there will be two key SOC 
Um, so one, it has to be capable of multi-channel processing, including top view generation from at least four sides, like you mentioned before, front, rear, and left, right, to cover the entire surrounding environment of the vehicle. And two, it has to be capable of deep neural net processing at a high speed rate. So in general, and in general, our individual customers have their own preference when it comes to an SOC already. It's tailored to their own strategy and roadmap. But according to our market research, um, these individual preferences mostly come down to TI or Renaissance SOCs, which are also broadly used for front-facing camera products mm. like TDA4X and V3H. And on top of that, we're always open to new SOCs if it means more capability and efficiency, which would lead to a better performance. Yeah, there are a lot, a lot of startups who is trying hard to make it happen. So maybe we will welcome those kind of challenges and results. And there is a, a question from Richard um, from the other audience. So he basically, if I read it, um, can you reveal which AI engine did the Stravision use for the surround view object and parking detection video? I mean, AI engine means the network, right? So. It is our property network, SVNet, and um, we were running um, on it. We were running our SVNet software. It, it's built from scratch by our engineers, and then we run it on different platforms, including NVIDIA Xavier, um, Renesas V3H or V3M, um, or TI's latest um, chipsets, such as TDA2X or TDA4X. Um, and because we built our network, SVNet, from scratch, we can basically um, manipulate these algorithms at a very deep level to uh, make this um, top view or, or the detection algorithm running on very, very lean and compact automotive variety chipsets. Okay, so we have only one minute, so let me wrap up. <laughs> so in terms of multi-channel cameras, it's a very challenging uh, engineering work by all the uh, software players or autonomous driving um, technology providers because you need to uh, run, um, you need to complete a mission critical jobs uh, with very limited hardware or what resources are given by the vehicle to, to make it run. Um, especially for the uh, mass production vehicles where you use very limited hardware resources compared to a prototype of autonomous shuttle type of things. Um, but it is um, a very exciting journey because um, we can basically process uh, images from multi-channel cameras to provide more fun and uh, even safer driving experiences to the day-to-day uh, -to -day, uh, general public. And uh, Star Vision is very committed on that and excited about the uh, future um, to bring those technology.